This is a video of a six-year-old Section A Welsh Pony mare on her second day of clicker training ever. In this video, Linda, the handler, is teaching Nina to stand quietly to be groomed. Linda asks Nina to target on the brush a few times with her nose. This gets Nina desensitized to the feel of the brush and makes her an active participant in the learning. After Nina seems to accept the brush in front of her, Linda gently reaches out and strokes her neck. Over time, Linda will build up from stroking Nina one time with the brush so that Nina may earn one treat to the point where Nina will be petted ten times before earning one click and one treat. To keep Nina's confidence up, Linda has to make sure that she only pets the pony as many times as she is comfortable with. Generally, you can add one stroke a turn. Here, Nina is reacting to the fact that Linda just stroked her two times in a row for the first time a second earlier. Nina backs up, and so Linda turns away from her, telling her, Nice try, but that wasn't enough to earn a treat. Almost immediately, Nina allows Linda to stroke her three times, even though she had just protested at one stroke. This occurred because Linda turned her back on her, saying, I don't want to play if you're not going to play by the rules. Each time Linda pushes Nina a little bit, she takes a slight offense and backs away. But the beauty of clicker training is that even though she felt a little pressured, she comes forward trying hard to win the treat. Someday, hopefully, Nina will appreciate being brushed enough that a, a good scratch can be her reward instead of a treat. But part of setting your horse up to love being rubbed is teaching them in a step-by-step -step fashion. Essentially, what you're doing is approach and retreat with the brush. You approach Nina with the brush and ask her to be brave. And as long as she is brave, you continue working with her. When you have really good timing, you're able to leave just before the pony becomes tense. When you retreat, you reward her good behavior by taking the pressure away and also offering the food reward. To get the most out of your training session, it's absolutely necessary that you click to reward the good behavior. Here Linda is beginning to make a few small mistakes with her timing, which is common in novice clicker trainers. Linda is actually more than a novice. This is her first day clicker training and one of her first days ever around horses. Even though Linda's timing is slightly flawed, Nina doesn't mind. She continues to try and do her best, knowing what Linda actually wants. That's one of the greatest gifts of clicker training. The horse will always put its best face forward and work to earn your good grace and your treat. Many people new to horses have quite a lot of difficulty with timing and feel. But with clicker training, you can mark the exact behavior you want with a sharp click and follow it with a treat. Even if your timing is slightly off, the horse is so motivated to stay in the game that they'll often cover up for your mistakes because the food reward is worth it. Natural horsemanship skills will still make you a much more effective clicker trainer, but while natural horsemanship has a very steep learning curve, the curve for clicker training is relatively short. You just click for what you want and follow the click with a treat. Oftentimes in clicker training, even with a green horse and a green handler, the horse will skip over the handler's mistakes, keeping their eye on the ultimate goal of the training session. What happens in this case is the horse's clear effort reinforces the handler while they're trying to learn. In essence, the horse's clicker training or positively reinforcing the handler as well. It's clear to the handler that the horse learns faster when their timing is good, but there aren't any negative repercussions for poor timing arising from lack of skill. The horse keeps trying and the handler keeps learning, motivated by the horse's commitment to learn. Here is a perfect example of Nina trying her hardest for Linda and Linda trying her hardest for Nina, and Nina learning that she needs to stand still to be pet. Another advantage of clicker training is that novice horse handlers often don't have very consistent body language. 
They want to show the horse by releasing the pressure that the horse did a good job, but they're nervous about what's going to happen next, so their body language is all boxed up. But in clicker training, you use the acoustical marker cue of a click to tell the horse, that was perfect, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. So even when students are still slightly afraid of horses, if they can manage to get out a click, the horse will still learn, even if their body language is tense and uncertain. Ultimately though, the key to being a good equine clicker trainer is having good natural horsemanship skills, because those skills will help you reward the things that you want from a horse and ignore the things that you don't want. Just there, Nina was offering to groom Linda back. She's showing clear attachment to her and wanting to return the favor of the grooming. It's wonderful to see that in a short time, this pony is learning to love being groomed and hopefully will soon learn to stand for hours of grooming with few, if any, clicks or treats.